Dorf Romantic. Sounds nice. Kind of a cozy sounding name. Like it means something quaint or pleasant in German or maybe Swedish. Maybe it does? I should have googled that actually now that I think about it. But it's a cozy sort of game, so I suppose it fits. Almost like a board game, probably. I don't play a lot of board games, but there's probably a board game like this out there. The game is very simple. You're given a big stack of hex tiles and a vast open space in which to place them. Connect them together to form forests, villages, fields of wheat, train lines and rivers, and try to get the most points that you can. There's no time limit, there's virtually no way to fail other than running out of tiles, and that's pretty much it. There are quests to do as well, occasionally. You'll be given a quest such as connect a certain number of wheat tiles together, or a lengthy section of river or train line, and when you complete the quest, then you're given more tiles to place and the game goes on and on. It's a game you play to relax, I'd say. There aren't any resources to manage, really. No objectives other than simple quests. It's the kind of game you can play with a podcast on in the background, or maybe some music and just kick back and relax, and not think too hard. And sometimes that's really nice, you know? Sometimes you just want a game that does that, and doesn't make you feel too tense. This is definitely that sort of experience. I played it for, I don't know, maybe a few hours. I can't say it really wrote me in, but when you're in the mood for this sort of experience, I could see this being the sort of thing you reach for. Some days, when you just don't feel like trying too hard, and you've got maybe two or three hours of things to listen to in the background, that's the time that I would fire this game up. You know, when I first saw this game in the store, it didn't look like something that would be interesting to me, if I'm being honest. I'd heard a few streamers and people mention it, so I thought I'd give it a shot when I saw it was on sale. And even now, I still don't know for sure if this is my type of game. But, well, I gave it a shot, and even though I didn't have an overwhelming time, I still think it was better than I expected. This is a game that's kind of hard to sell to people. When I record a video, I usually try to cut out just the more exciting parts of a game, try to find the clips and bits that make it look the most exciting and presentable, but honestly, looking back through what I recorded, it's pretty hard to do. I mean, what you see is what you get for the most part. This isn't the kind of game that's gonna blow anyone away. It's no Elden Ring or God of War, but a sort of diversion that you play in between, I guess. You might be interested, you might not. If anything you've seen makes you interested, then I'd say pick it up. Although honestly, I'd wait for a better discount. Still, I hope this was informative, or at least a little bit interesting. Alright, take care.